us thank you for joining us and if you are just joining us subscribe to this channel so as to receive notification to every of our videos now we can solve this problem here applying law of log radio that say when we have log m raised to power p this is power law this power of p can come back and this will be equal to p log m so this power comes to the back here when we apply that here we have this x here raised to power 3 so in this case we can write it and say this is log x to be 7 all squared minus 3 log x to be 7 then equals to 10 so this 3 has come to the back here in this case the law is not applicable why because it's everything that's raised to power 2 not only x so now something interesting is here now we have log x to be 7 and it's appearing here so let's represent it with a letter let's use p now we say let log x to be 7 be p so that when we write that when we write this equation we now have p square we have p square minus 3p equals to 10 we can use this to form an equation which is a quadratic equation so when we form a quadratic equation with this bringing this term to this place becoming minus so we have p squared minus 3p minus 10 then we will equal to zero this is a quadratic equation now we can factorize this that is when we split 10 minus 10p squared the product of this first and the last number is minus 10 p square so when we split it into two factors such that the addition will give us minus 3 p so this will be p square minus 5 p then plus 2 p then minus 10 equals 0 so those two factors here are minus 5 p then plus 2 p so we have p square here so what is common we group it to two here so when we group group this one in two and we factor what is common here p is common bring p out we have p left here then minus five is left here then here we have plus two plus two common what is left here is p then minus five left which is equal to zero and by the time we you know look at this p minus 5 is common bring it out we have p minus 5 then what is left is p plus 2 then equals to 0 so either of this could be 0 therefore we can say p minus 5 equals to 0 or p plus 2 is equals to 0 then we have p equals to when we take minus 5 here so p equals to 5 or p equals to take plus 2 there minus 2 now these are the two cases we have now for the first case let's say case 1 now when p equals to for the first case when p equals to 5 and from there our p is log x base 7 so now we have we recall that we have log x the 7 as p then equals to 5 then let us solve this and have our the value of our x from here we can solve this one in two ways now there is a relationship between logarithm and indices that is any number we have of the form log log n base a equals to x I can change this one to indices form and say this will imply this a is serving as the base and it will still be the base of the exponent then raised to power x then equals to n so we have successfully changed from logarithm to you know indices form index form 
So a raised to the power x then equals to n. Then when we apply that here, when we apply that here, we can see that this 7 is the base here. Then 7 will be raised to the power 5, then equals to x. So we can say 7 raised to the power 5 is equals to x. And uh, that means our x equals to 7 raised to the power 5. And as well, I can equally say that from here, I have 5 times 1. And for me to have 1, that means I have in form of log a base a. Anything log a base a is 1. And I can replace this one as log 7 base 7 such that this one give us such that this line give us log x base 7 equals to 5 log 7 base 7 because this log 7 base 7 now is 1. Then when I reverse this 5 up, I have log x base 7 equals to log now, 7 raised to the power 5, base 7. And log to base 7 cancel each other. And our x equals to 7 raised to the power 5. So, these are the two ways of solving that. So, this is one values of, you know, x. One of the value of x. 7 raised to the power 5. And for case 2 now, when p equals to minus 2, when p equals to minus 2, don't forget that p is log x base 7 and is equals to minus 2. So applying the relationship from log to index, index, so 7 will be raised to power minus 2, that equals to x, that x equals to 7 raised to power minus 2. So this is the second uh, solution. Now we can check from the problem given whether this will satisfy you know the problem. Whether this will satisfy the problem. So let's check. So to check now, let's put the value of our x into this equation that we have. So for the first value of x equals to 7 raised to the power 5. Now anywhere we see x here, we put 7 raised to the power 5. Then we have log 7 raised to the power 5 base 7. That's all square minus log 7 raised to the power 5. Then raised to the power 3 base 7. Is it equal to 10? Then let's quickly see whether this one will give us 10. From here, what is inside here is 7 raised to the power 5. So this power of 5 can come to the back. And we have 5 log 7 base 7. Then all raised to the power 2. Then also, from here, what we have here, this 3 here, you know, is serving as a power to a number here. Also can come to the back. And we have 3 log 3 log 7 raised to the power 5, base 7. Also, this power of 5 can also come to the back. Now, from there, here we have log 7 base 7 is 1. So, we have 5 times 1 is still 5. So, I have 5 square. Then, minus. When this 5 come back, we have 3 times 5. Then, log 7 base 7, that's also 1. That's also 1. So, we have 5 square here is now... 25 then 3 times 5 that's 15 25 minus 15 this gives us 10 because we can see this is 10 on this side so which is equal to 10 so this is the correct solution that means x equals to 7 raised to power 5 is you know a valid solution there now let's quickly check for the other one as well we have x equals to 7 raised to power minus 2 don't forget that here we can equally write it as 1 over 7 squared. But let's work with it this way. When we put it into the logarithmic equation we have, we have log 7 raised to the power minus 2 base 7 all square minus log 7 raised to the power 
minus 2 all raised to the power 3 then base 7 is this one equals to 10 as well when we apply the same thing that we have the other time so this minus 2 can come to the back we have minus 2 log 7 base 7 then all square minus here this minus 2 and minus 3 can come down and we have into bracket because of this minus so because of that minus i have into bracket this minus 2 comes down that's minus 2 times this 3 also comes down 3 i have log 7 this 7 then i have that here log 7 base 7 is 1 we have minus 2 squared now then minus log 7 base 7 here 2 is 1 then minus 2 times 3, that's minus 6. So minus 2 square will give us plus 4. So minus times minus will be plus 6, which is equal to 10. Correct. That means our x equals to 7 raised to the power minus 2 is also a valid solution. We say thank you for watching this video to the end. And you can swear like this video and click the subscription button so as to have access to any of our videos. Thank you for joining us. See you in the next class and bye for now.